This series of videos is all of the defenses from all six guards before level two high, using all th three weapon combinations, sword, sword dagger, sword and cloak. So I've broken these down into each guard into three parts, the Madrito attacks, high low, Rigaraso, high low, and thrusts, Imbrocata and Stoccata. So I'll show each of those chunks of all three weapons in, uh, in order. Sword, Sword Dagger, Sword Cloak, and the next video, same thing. So we're going to start with Kuruga Stretta with the sword by itself. Um, and we'll kind of, my goal is to show some of the, some actions that are the same throughout all of the combinations and some things that become new or change slightly because we have a, our left hand more in play. So starting with Kuruga Stretta, the very first thing we have is the test of defense via the Falso Dorito. So we have a couple options here. Once you bring this out here, and depending where the sword is, we will either beat it and cut to the head. Let's do it again. If the sword is not an issue, we can go directly into Stramazzoni two levels to the head. Or if I find myself to my partner's outside, so I bring it up here and I'm actually to the right, I can go ahead and do an imbrocata to the chest and I'm going to finish by a stranzone. So bring that out there, thrust and cut to bring this to iron gate. Second, we can use the true edge by stepping to your inside, so beat and thrust, cut, or if my point is not on, beat, cut. So we can tom down and then cut again. So turn it again. So it's beat, cut, and cut. Bring this back to Kodung Stratta. Next we have the Fatch defense. So we're going to lead, shove it over, thrust the face, and come back to guard with a Liga Sustanza on it. Fourth one is a mezzo tempo action. We're just going to, it was very similar to this last one, but we'll be focusing more on hitting, and then our sword happens to be in the right place versus getting the sword in the right place and then hitting through that. So I will either thrust to the chest, do the same footwork, or we can cut to the hand and then raise our sword to faccia if need be. Finally, we can do a void. So giving the look of a defense, which in most, case, in most cases is going to look like a testa guard. And then whatever happens here, we can come with a cut, we can come with thrust as the blow is sailing past our, our body. And this is going to work a little bit better against the squalim or toldo, not so great against the fanatic because it can turn directly into a thrust. Now, if we have the dagger in our hand, Sorry. If we're doing the low attack, we have two options here. We can beat it low, cut the head. If the sword, because it's quite low, I can go to the high line. Alternatively, if, if I get a really nice beat with this, so I can really clear it out of the way, I can turn that into a reversal to their leg. And then, I'm oh, sorry, I can cut up with that and thrust to the chest. So we defend, cut up, thrust, and come back to like an iron gate, for example. And finally, we can also do a void to this leg. So if they're coming to the right leg, we reach out to go to face guard as if they're coming in, we feel nothing, pull us back, they run up to our sword. Now we pick up the dagger. We have a few more things we can do. Uh, three with the high line, two with the low line. So the high line we can actually parry directly with the dagger going into testa. At the same time, we can thrust to the chest and cut the leg. We can cut the leg right away, or we can do a mandrito to the leg. But in all cases, I'm going through chingiale. Uh, at position. So I would say 
thrust and cut, or it's a cut, and then we get out. In both cases, it's the transition to head guard slash chin yale with the sword. Second up, we can do the cross parry, which is very similar to our test of position. So we're going to swing the left leg back, trade, and cut the leg, and thrust to get out of there. Finally, we can use Facha as well. So the sword comes in, and we have the dagger to help out. It's important that it's the sword that is the main part. This is just kind of an assist. Dealing with a low attack, we can defend with the dagger because it can go quite low and cover anything we be aiming for. So we defend and strike to the chest or face. Or that could also be a cut on number four on your back, so to the head arm. Finally, we can do the void as we did before. So we are gonna go towards face guard, we feel nothing, no contact. So we pull the target out of the way, they impale themselves. Finally, but the cloak on, we have some similar options, but some new things as well. So we can do the exact same first action, which is doing defense with the cloak, so stepping in in his testament position, same time thrusting to the chest with the punta de versa. That can turn into a reverse to the thigh or right afterwards, and we should. Alternatively, we can do the same thing before. We go directly to the mandrito to the leg, and then leave the thrust, which is going to be your kind of standard uh, exit strategy. We can also go to head guard, trade, and instead of going to the outside, we're going to go to the inside with the mandrito. So we cover, trade, depending on where the cloak is, we can go high or we will go low. Finally, we have our two tacks to the leg, the mandrito. So we will either step back or rather void. So we're here, cut to that arm, or touch that face. So it's kind of like we're again, reaching out as if it's face by defense. We feel nothing, or we feel nothing, and we cut to the arm. Finally, we can also defend with the false edge. Cannot defend with the cloak, we can trade. So we make contact, trade, and cut to the thigh. So let's go to Luke Strata with the defenses against, uh, defenses against the Madrido high and low. Next up is Riversi. Mm -hmm. 